Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and today I want to talk to you about the Apple Podcast subscriptions that were announced at the most recent Apple event and what that means for podcasters. Uh, but before we get into that, I do want to ask you to subscribe to this channel, uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, I put out all sorts of different podcasts and WordPress content. Uh, also, if you are interested in lots of other content I create, check out the Build Something Club. That's where my private members only podcast is. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Today, we are talking about Apple Podcasts. So in case you missed it, uh, Apple recently announced that they are leading the next chapter of podcasting with Apple Podcast subscriptions. And basically what this means is anybody who has a podcast on Apple Podcasts can start offering things like member-only feeds, ad-free episodes, and other bonuses that they talk about here in this press release. Now, uh, Mac Stories also has really good coverage on this where they point out that podcast creators can participate for $19.99 per year, uh, plus... 30% uh, of all subscribers for the first year, that drops down to 15% uh, for the second year. And we'll, we'll get into that uh, in a moment. But I think it's really uh, interesting. It's an interesting move. Uh, Apple announced that starting in iOS 14.5, uh, the subscribe button in the Apple Podcast app would change to a follow button and a lot of people speculated that something like apple podcast subscriptions was the reason now semantically speaking follow is a lot clearer that you don't have to pay for something but after 16 years why would they make this change and now it's a lot clearer so uh, in this press release they do show uh to, or they talk about companies like npr the athletic tenderfoot they mention uh, a, a Luminary original. Uh, so Luminary is getting in on this action with uh, uh, Dave Chappelle, uh, one of his podcasts, or his podcast with other people, I should say. Uh, and then, like I said, Apple Podcasts uh, will be taking 30%. That drops to 15% after the first year. This is uh, exactly how the App Store works for in-app purchases, as pointed out in uh, in the Mac Stories article. And I'll link all of these in the description down below if you want to read them yourself. So I did have a couple of questions before I start waxing poetic here uh, about some of the fine print. Six Colors has really good coverage on the fine print. Uh, one is, will I be able to sell my own ads? Will I be able to sell my own sponsorships? Uh, and ads and sponsorships... Uh, can be still used in the paid podcasts. Apple doesn't get a cut of those. Um, and uh, this is Dan Morin's article here on Six Colors. He points out that this isn't exclusive. So if you run a membership program already, you can just add Apple podcast subscriptions on top of it. Now, this is really good, right? Because last stats I saw, it was less than 50% of people now are using Apple Podcasts. Spotify has taken a big cut, and there are dozens of other podcast apps and directories. So if we are just locking down our subscriptions to Apple Podcasts, we're leaving a lot of money on the table there. So I'm glad to see that this is not an exclusive deal. Uh, there's one more article I want to point out, and that's from Nathan Gathright. I hope I'm saying that correctly. He did the great service of sifting through the Apple Podcast Program Agreement and related documentation. And he points out 11 things. I'm not going to read all 11 of these things. Again, I will link that in the description for this video. But he points out that Apple, for the first time ever, is offering first-time hosting. Uh, you can also implement a DRM solution on anything that Apple is hosting. You are authorizing Apple to create transcripts as well as authorizing 
them or giving them the right to use your podcast content to train machine learning. Uh, this one, point eight, is a really interesting one. This agreement covers everywhere Apple Podcasts may be available, including Android. So perhaps we will see Apple launch an Android uh, uh, counterpart. I think that this is really important because Apple has made a big deal about services revenue over the last few years, even before Apple TV Plus rolled out. So this is another offering that they can have for their services revenue. So it makes sense to be on every possible platform imaginable. Again, they, they place no restrictions, uh, including advertising. And the big, the other question, the other big question I had was around ownership, who owns uh, the customer data and they own the customer relationship. They can offer a refund, which means, and I'm not an app developer uh, or, or an Apple app developer, at least. Uh, I reckon that you don't get direct access to the customer data either. So that is a quick overview of everything, including some of the questions that I had when I initially wrote up my notes document. So what does this mean for podcasters? Well, I think it's great for anyone who doesn't have the time, money, or ability to set up their own platform. It's a lot easier if you've taken the time to put your podcast on Apple Podcast to log into Podcast Connect and either add a subscription to your current podcast or create a new members-only subscription. However, 30%, even if it's just the first year, is obnoxious. Apple was late to the game on this. So they claim that they can take 30% of apps in the App Store because App Store is what made the apps and the app developers. They can't lay claim to this at all. Uh, private podcasts have been around for years. Patreon has been around for years. My podcast host, Castos, which we'll talk about later, recently rolled out private feeds uh, earlier this year or late last year for anybody with a plan. So Apple is just applying their current pricing model because they know people are going to go along with it. Uh, and just to do some quick math, uh, I pay, uh, I, let's see, I pay uh, for the growth plan on Casto. So that's $490 per year. And here's the thing, I would need to pay for podcast hosting anyway, right? So this is not necessarily, uh, I'm not saving anything by putting a private podcast on Apple Podcasts. I would still need to uh, sign up for some hosting plan. Now, again, if we, if we go back to uh, Nathan's article, right? He says that for the first time ever, Apple is offering first party podcast hosting so you can create a show with subscriber only benefits. I am unclear on this if, if it means that you can also just create a free show and Apple's going to host it. Uh, I, I know that there's some confusion around that. So uh, once I dig in, I'll probably do a follow up. But if they're like eliminating the need for podcast hosting, uh, that that is a big deal. And I think it's a buried lead. Uh, so I don't necessarily think that is the case. But Again, if we go back to the Castos hosting, I pay $400, uh, $490 a year uh, for that. Now, I don't necessarily need a website host, but I do have one for my podcast. Uh, I host multiple sites on there, but let's just say I pay uh, 100 bucks a year or 200 bucks a year uh, for hosting this website specifically. It's probably around, uh, it's probably closer to 200 bucks a year if I divide everything equally. So now we're looking at around 700 bucks a year. Uh, and then I have a plugin, Restrict Content Pro, for the membership side of things to accept payments. I'm paying 3% on uh, I'm paying 3% on credit card fees. Right. So if if we take all of that into account, uh, and let's just say I have you know, a, a hundred subscribers, I'm charging five bucks a month. That, uh, that's 500 bucks a month. 30% of that to Apple is 200 bucks a month. Uh, and so that's going to end up being 2,400 bucks a year. 
uh, then dropping down to half of that, so twelve hundred bucks a year, uh, for the privilege of being on the Apple platform. So I think that pricing is a little bit obnoxious. If we look at uh, something like Memberful, which I also think is is again okay. I should point out here that I'm a web developer. I have the skill and the know how to set up my own platform. So being as frictionless as possible is a huge, a huge benefit, right? It's one of the reasons that I decided to go with community, uh, with Circle for my community, right? Because I didn't want the friction of having to set up my own. So I'm not knocking the pricing model because you can do it cheaper on WordPress or whatever. Uh, time is an important uh, investment to look at here. But again, uh, if we're looking at Memberful, starting out, it's zero dollars uh, a month <laughs> and 10% of a transaction fee. If you start paying for uh, the pro plan where uh, you can have a lot more stuff, you're looking at $25 a month plus a 4.9% transaction fee. So if we're looking at, you know, minus the 3% or so that the credit cards take, uh, we're looking at an almost 2% transaction fee. I think that's perfectly reasonable for giving you a vehicle to make money, right? And this is the whole thing, right? All of these services are giving us a vehicle to make money with our content. Now, Patreon, I did a, a podcast episode about this where in my members only part of the episode, I actually share the numbers. That is free if you go over to uh, build something dot club. That's going to be the 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 sample episode that I provide to you to show you kind of what you get in the club. So if you're interested in the numbers, I dig in deep there. But um, Patreon took somewhere between like ten and and fourteen percent, I think, and I wasn't paying for it. So I know they have like paid tiers where they take less of a, a cut, but uh, even that is less than the thirty percent, is less than the fifteen percent. So I think that it's Apple and Apple can do the things that they want to do because they're Apple. But I think that um, that is that's a big cut. And I know it's going to make things a lot easier, uh, but it's a big cut. Uh, they also say, right, they announced better discovery methods. Uh, so uh, they have completely redesigned the podcast app to accommodate some of these things. And I think that's. Uh, I think that's really important. We'll see if it works out well for uh, independent creators, right? Because right now, most of the podcasts you see are super predictable uh, as far as their popularity goes. It's like the NPR podcasts. It was Joe Rogan until Joe Rogan went to, to Spotify. Uh, and even the podcasts that they promote in the press release, The Athletic, an extremely well-known premium uh, sports outlet, uh, sports news outlet, uh, NPR, and then Luminary, uh, which they touted, again, Dave Chappelle's show. So I really hope that when they say they're improving discovery, it's going to benefit independent creators. Uh, and again, something that Six Colors points out uh, that's really interesting is that Apple will create and make available transcripts. I have transcripts for my podcast. They aren't cheap, though. If you have a podcast that's not making any money and you are trying to look for ways to cut costs, transcripts is one of those ways. I know people who even have extremely popular podcasts who don't think transcripts are worth the time. That's a whole other argument. But seeing Apple do this is really great because I think that will help with discovery, right? If you have a, a verbatim transcript of your podcast and then people search for specific terms, things that you mentioned that you maybe didn't put in the description that will help people discover. So uh, that is, that's, those are my general thoughts. Um, I think that it's great for people who have no technical know-how and they just want to click a few buttons and have a members only podcast. I think this is great for that. I think 30% for the first year is an obnoxious amount, but Maybe it's not, right? Maybe two. if you're charging five bucks a month, 
uh, maybe two dollars is, is too much, but we'll just round, I guess. Um, uh, maybe two dollars per subscriber is totally worth it for you. And then again, that drops down uh, after the second year. But I think that that's if if we're if we're comparing Apple to other services where other services make your podcast available everywhere and not just in the Apple Podcast app, I think thirty percent is a lot of money. Uh, and so, uh, but I'm, I'm excited to see how this works. I'm, I'm going to try it out. Um, my questions, can I also pr uh, promote non Apple podcast subscription memberships? Uh, it seems like this is again, six colors pointed this out. Uh, it seems like it's not exclusive. So I'll be able to say, so if you're an Apple podcast subscriber, subscribe an Apple podcast, or if you want to get more than just exclusive episodes, you can head over to build something club, right? Um, so we'll, we'll see how that shakes out. They, it's, I think it's really clear that they're not going to take any sponsorship money from you, which is good. Uh, and then will I be able to get the subscribers out of Apple podcasts? Will listeners be able to take their membership with them if they want to switch apps? Looks like no. Um, Apple owns the customer relationship there, though. I will say there is, there was this, this checkbox incident, uh, as I record this, the new Apple pod, the, the the new podcast connect website that Apple's rolling out to support uh, subscriptions has had a lot of bugs, and one of them is a checkbox that says like make this available everywhere. So maybe maybe users will be able to uh, take their membership outside of the Apple Podcast app. Again, that remains to be seen. I really hope that is the case, though. All right, so that's everything I have to say on the matter. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, maybe I'll do a pot, uh, a, a follow-up video on this. I'll certainly have um, other uh, other takes and, and tutorials like how to manage multiple memberships and how to actually set up uh, a subscription in Apple Podcasts. But that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Again, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to this channel for more great content.